Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo County Corso. So I'm out here with Blondie. Ah, ah, Blondie? No ma'am. And Mona. Mona is being aggressive right now. Um, Blondie's ignoring. I've had them in today or in for the last couple days together. I've been working on their relationship. Um, and um, Mona's looking big, y'all. I think we're going to have a big litter out of her. I'm so excited. What's up, little chickens? I got all my little baby chicks out with my big chickens. They've all combined a super flock, um, which I'm fine with. Look at you. Uh, so she's not old. She didn't age overnight. Um, the reason I have not been uploading is because <clears throat> we've been painting my house. Um, both me and Ralph, Ralph is Reese's brother, we've been painting the house. And, um, and doing it the right way this time. You know, using tape and, ah, ah, Mona, out! And, um, yeah, using tape and making sure all the lines are good, yada, 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 so... Um, so anyway, so Mona has been an escapee multiple times, gotten into the pint. And, um, but I did want to do a little video where I talked about, because I've, I've told you guys that, that, you know, it, 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 you know, while it is possible to have these dogs together, um, ultimately, sometimes it's more trouble than it's worth, but. Um, but sometimes it's not. And so, um, Blondie, as you guys know, is a pet. And, um, she's one of our females. I would, dare I say, one of our foundation females. Um, but she is a pet. And, um, and so, um, we had her out in the barn because we had Mona inside. And, um, and, um. And then, and she's just such a sweetheart, and I just felt bad. Um, I don't like having any of my dogs in kennels, but let alone a dog that has, you know, like Blondie's always been a pet. She's not been in a kennel ever, um, ever, you know what I mean? And so I have dogs here, like Mona, for example, has been in a kennel. Doesn't bother her to be in a kennel. And so, um, and so anyway, so... I was motivated to get these two to work it out, seeing as how, um, you know, Nerv uh, uh, Blondie's not um, not a kennel dog, and she is more of a pet. And um, I don't know why they want to do. They have water, but um, but anyway, but it was important to me that these that these guys get along because um, Blondie is a is a dog that you know, for me, just needs to be an inside dog, and, um, and so, and I don't want her having to spend time out like that, just because we have one dog that doesn't get along with her, and, um, and we never filmed it, but after we had initially kenneled these two, and we were, um, moving from Texas to Virginia, um, these, these girls were kenneled, um, underneath the carport so that we could get the property ready for sale. And, um, and once that happened, they did not want to be around each other again. And even whenever we moved here and we had to use the, the, um, transport vehicle, um, she's a pooping. Um, anyway, whenever we, use, whenever we had to use a transport vehicle, these two females wanted to go at it and we actually had to have muzzles i had bought muzzles and so we muzzled a couple of the dogs um but specifically blondie and mona and even with the kennel even with the muzzles um they had tried to fight a couple times and so um and so anyway excuse me oh tired mona and so, um, and so anyway, they did that thing where they would kind of, um, 
rise up in each other's faces. So there we go. So, and so Mona just realized she was being too disrespectful. See, if she would have run right up to Blondie with that energy, it would have been a problem. And so she redirected a bit. But Mona's the one who's super sensitive right now. Blondie could care less. Blondie's watching, but she could really care less right now. It's Mona's the one who won't get her eyes off of her. And, um... And, um... Let's see, Blondie over there. And Blondie's just ignoring, which is a good thing. You want that. When you're trying to get two dogs to get along and you have one who's a little bit of a problem, this one... You want the other one to be non-caring, nonchalant, and really minding their own business. Because all it would take for this girl to lose her cool is for her to give her the same energy. Blondie, what are you doing, my baby girl? They're my baby. They're my baby. They're my baby. Yeah. They're my baby girl. Hey, baby. What are you doing, funny girl? What are you doing, funny girl? Where are you going? Where are you going? See, high energy away from me. I don't like. Mona! So I'm going to call Mona to me. Mona, come. Now. Mona, come here. Let's go. Come here. Good girl. Come on, Mona. Good girl. Good girl. So she was waiting because of Blondie. She's she's a lot more tense. See how her tail is up? She doesn't want to put her tail down. I see you. I see you, little miss. Little miss gets into paint. Kisses. Mwah. So I don't want them out of my sight. And that's another thing. So here are the rules of the house to keep dogs like this together, right? Um, no unsupervised time together, no matter what, period, end of story, do not forget. Very, 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 very important. So, um, they also sleep in different rooms. So, Blondie sleeps with me, which is funny because she was always supposed to be Savannah's pet, but she ended up being mine. And, um, and, uh, Mona sleeps with Savannah, which she loves. And Mona's really good with that. Um... They are allowed in the house together, always monitored. Um, very, very important because what a dog will do when they are being supervised and what they will do when they are unsupervised are two very different things. And you should always consider sleep time to be unsupervised. <sighs> that 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 is a disaster right there. <sighs> um... Trying to think of what else. When I first introduced them, um, I brought out my Moses stick. Um, my Moses stick is basically um, kind of like uh, what a shepherd uses to herd sheep. It's um, like a walking stick. And so basically anytime I don't like the energy, then I use the stick to separate them. Not like beat them or anything. You should separate them before the energy in any way gets dangerous. And so you don't want to let two dogs square up. Um, <clears throat> I would have shown you guys, but unfortunately we were painting. And um, and so it was just like Savannah triggered my emotion. It wasn't even really the time for her to come in, Blondie. But she went out and she, was, she fed her and she's like, Blondie's so sad. And I was like, oh my God, I know I miss her so much. <laughs> And so I let her in. Because, like, Blondie just is. She won't bark a lot. She won't do anything. She'll just be sad. And, um, because she's such a good dog. And I just love Blondie. She's just, um, she's by far one of my favorite dogs. Like, I have a lot of favorite dogs. And I don't have one in particular that's more of a favorite than others. Um, I have favorites. And Blondie is definitely one of my favorites. Are you going to poop again? All right, then. Another big old poop, too. My blondie baby. So Blondie saw Mona. And just turned away a bit. But you can see Mona has eyes on, eyes on. And Blondie basically ignores. She looks a little bit, but she ignores. And Blondie is the alpha. Just keep that in mind. Blondie is the alpha of this situation. 
Now, Mona may not like that. She may not agree with that. Um, but that's, that's, the, that's the world she lives in right now. Damn my baby. Damn my baby girl. Damn my baby girl. Damn my baby. <laughs> you my squishy booty girl. My squishy booty girl. Don't you jump on me. Don't you jump. Not in this. Don't you jump on me. Damn my baby girl. <clears throat> so, it's been raining a lot for the last, what, yesterday it's supposed to rain. Today, tomorrow, the next day. Um, but, um, but anyway, I'll show you guys, if I can, the house, see how it looks. So, you see how Blondie's minding her business, but Mona is not? Mona is very interested. Oh, here we go. Look at that. So, a little bit of a stiffness there. See, I uh, head up. See how Blondie just met that same energy. Now she's standing for it. Watching me, that's dominant behavior the way that she did. And look at that. Now Mona is the one pursuing, which is disrespectful. Mona, no. Blondie's ignoring like a good girl. Mona wants to start trouble. You see how she's going to her face? Face-to-face -face meetings are not good. I can trust Blondie's behavior right now, though. She's listening. Good girl. She's got a bit of hackles up right there. She knows to come to me. And that's what I told you guys is Mona is the issue. And the thing is, is like, I can do this because I'm very good at reading subtle, subtle signs. But you cannot do this if you cannot recognize very subtle, silent signs. And, and if you underestimate your dog, you can't do that either. There are a lot of people that want to do this thing where they're, Oh, he's just playing. Oh, he's not this. Oh, he's not that. You can't do that with these guys. You do that and you're going to have a fight. It, you have to expect the worst and be thankful when you don't get it. Um, because if this is a situation in which you cannot make a mistake, you cannot underestimate a dog because if you do, you could end up in a situation where both dogs are severely injured. You could lose a life. Blondie, come here. So you see how I can tell? Blondie, come. Ah, ah. Come here now. Good girl. Come on, all the way. I'm my baby. Get my baby girl. Get my baby. So the reason I did that is because I don't want both of them meeting on the other side of the fence where I'm not there. But better safe than sorry all the time. Um, you always need to have at least one dog that you know that you have really good control over. Um, so that you can, because if you can control one dog, you can, um, pretty likely control the situation so long as the other dog is at least reasonable. <clears throat> Mona. <whistles> Mona, what are you doing? Come here. <coughs> Mona. Damn my baby girl. Damn my baby girl. Yeah. Dear girl, baby girl. Damn my baby girl. See how she's always watching Blondie. Always watching. <clears throat> now, I will say this is the first time they've been outside together. Um, and I did not want them. I didn't want Savannah or anybody else letting them outside together. Because when two dogs know they're not allowed to fight, they may not in the house. Um, they may wait until they're out of sight or um, a, a, a big enough distance away from you that you can't get to them fast enough to do something about it. And so that's why, for example, I'm typically staying with them like I am now. Or I'll call one of them over to me. See how she's trotting off like that? Now that, now that they're getting out of my view, you see that? See that tail straight up like that? That energy change? She's trying to utilize that. So I picked up my pace a little bit and I'm walking over. <clears throat> so that I can monitor and be right here. Luckily, Blondie's a good girl, and she knows. Um, she knows better. What's up, Trinity? What's up, Trinity? We got Trinity back. 
What's up, Trin Trin? What's up, my baby girl, Trinity? Get my dirty girl. Yeah, she should be pregnant too right now. But Mona's looking good, y'all. She's looking big. I'm really happy about this. We finally did set up the puppy pen. It's right there. Right. Where's my baby boy? Get my baby boy. Yeah, Berlin, Grimm. I'm working on names for the other one. I thought I had it, and then I was like, mm. So there's this band that I really like. I think they're from Seattle. <clears throat> and their ke uh, kennel. Their, um, their uh, band name is called Odeza. Um, it's O-D-E-S-Z-A. But I don't want people thinking I'm saying Odessa. Because anybody that's been to Texas knows that Odessa. This is like, no offense to anybody who lives there, but it's not really the best place. <laughs> so, um, so you see how Mona is the one who, who approaches. Blondie's minding her business. Here comes Mona again. And it's not like she doesn't know what Blondie smells like. She does. She's already smelled Blondie. See the tail up like that? Mona. Blondie. Come. <whistles> Mona. Come. Good girl. That's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. Yeah, I see you trying to cause problems. I do. I see you. I see you. And so them knowing that I'm watching and, and every time that she does something like that and I get onto her, um, lets her know that that behavior is unwanted and, um, and that it's unnecessary. Yeah. You, I'm talking about you right now. I'm talking about you right now. You look like one of the weird Rottweilers that loses their coat color. Rottweilers have this thing where they'll turn white <clears throat> yeah, you. But it's just paint. Blondie! Now, the only reason that I don't have any other dogs out here with these two is because these, um, as you can see, Mona is already trying to cause problems. And you, we don't want to give her an excuse, okay? An excuse would be if I had Nirvana out here and Nirvana was being all hyper and running around and being all excited like Nirvana would want to be. Um, Mona could use that energy as an excuse um, to kind of come up and mess with Blondie. And, um, and so I always talk to people about, about your excitement level, your energy level. It, it just... Um, it just is the way it is. So you you need to keep your energy low in order to have dogs be together and not fight that that may want to fight. And so like I truly believe if given the opportunity that Mona would absolutely want to try to dominate Blondie, which would end up in a fight. Um she would want to make sure that that Blondie understands that she's the alpha. And, and it would be a very serious fight it could, you know, could actually lead to death. So obviously I don't want that. And so, um, like I said, I have to maintain calmness. Everybody has to be calm. Um, and you guys have seen many of my dogs take advantage of high excitement. So velocity will do it. Batista will do it. Dogs that, um, are not necessarily the happiest with their rank will oftentimes use situations like that as a distraction to catch um, an alpha dog slipping. And they'll just kind of use the distraction of everything going on, and they get all excited, and they're just like, all right, now's my chance. And, um, and then they try to, to do something. I'm watching you. Cut it out, Mona. So tail up, hackles up, and there's really no reason for that, right? We've been out here for a while. She should be over it by now, but she's not. 
And, um, and that's why, despite the fact that they seem fine together, um, they are not. And that's why I will not allow them to be unsupervised together and this and that. The only reason why um, there's not an issue is because of the fact that I'm not allowing there to be an issue. So you can have dogs around each other that don't like each other, that do want to fight. But there are very specific rules that you do have to follow. And you have to be the one in control. That's another thing. You have to be tough. You have to be respected. Because if they don't respect you, they're not going to listen to you. So, those are the things to keep in mind. <clears throat> we put some sand in these babies' kennel. I'm going to cover it, but I didn't get the opportunity to do so before the rain hit. So, we've got some sand in there from that sand that I got delivered, which will help to keep it from getting too nasty in there. Allows us to clean up the poop a lot easier, too. So, all of the, candle, all of the kennels will be getting sand very soon. You babies. Are you babies? <coughs> Shh. Hey. No. Ah, ah, ah. Quiet. You cut that out. No, sir. Savannah's got the dog separated again. Look how big Berlin is, dude. He's literally. He's almost the height of grim already and um there is a big age difference not a huge age difference but i want to say probably about a month age difference between grim and berlin and so that means berlin is going to be just huge i'm not so sure about his head right now it's doing some weird stuff um as far as berlin shh anybody talking to you boy but um but that's okay because the thing about it is, it's like, I think his muzzle is going to be a little bit longer. Not, maybe not long, but it, it is definitely a little bit more narrow. Um, but we'll see what it ends up doing. But as Mariana de Chico says, you need all kinds. So you can't just have short muzzle dogs. You can't just have wide muzzle dogs. You got to have all kinds so that you create balance. Crazy Carrie. <laughs> Batista. Angry man Batista. So Blondie's over there dominating her daughter. And her daughter is being all submissive. Get my baby girl. Who my baby girl? Yeah, Blondie would never. Would never try her mother ever. Chicken! My poor rooster. At least he's still alive. Ah, ah, ah! What you doing, girl? Psh! Oi! Look at that little, look at that blue dog. She knows that the cord keeps it from opening, so she's trying to get to the cord. Nirvana, what is your problem? What you talking about? Hmm? What's your problem? What you mad about? What you mad about? Huh? Your baby girl? Go my baby Nirvana. Get my baby Nirvana. You're my baby girl. Look at her growling at these babies. <laughs> she said, I will beat your little behinds. She's so funny. Anyway, well, I'm going to let y'all go. We got a lot of work to do today. I'll show you guys the house, uh, the painted house once we're done. We're getting close. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you had a fantastic new year. And uh, we all got together, Reese and um, the kids and her husband and Ralph and ah, ah, ah. don't you mess with my chicken. Um, we all got together and we, we had a seafood bowl.
We ate a bunch of seafood. It was really, really good. So, yeah. So, anyway. Well, yeah. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to get back in there. Get to work. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.